Okay, to create this adventure quest, I'm going to use Google Sites. Remember, you can use any internet creator, um, page creator that you'd like. People have different preferences. It all comes down to comfort level. I like Google Sites because that's what I've always used, and I like it because it's free. But you can copy the same order on whatever creator you are using. So I've signed into Google Docs, I've gone to Google Sites, and now I'm ready to create. So it says create. Once I create, I'm going to use the blank template because that's what I prefer, but if you'd like to use some of the sites in the gallery, you can. We're just going to call it Egypt Adventure Quest. Then create. Okay, so now I've created my new website. I probably want to go back in and capitalize the Egypt. Well, I'll show you how to do that later. Okay, so usually the home page I use to put a movie in. I put a movie here on this very first page because there's always kids that have trouble finding the site or can't log in to our server or whatever it is. So I like to put a keep the kids busy while I'm helping everybody get to the right place movie in here. There's tons of places that you can find movies, YouTube, TeacherTube, and I've given you a nice list of that on the PowerPoint and the document, which you can find on the website that I'm going to give you. Um, I, our school subscribes to Gaggle, which is filtered YouTube. I have pre-done this to save time. I've searched Ancient Egypt, and I found this nice National Geographic movie. I looked at the time. It's a little over three minutes which is usually just about right. So once they get logged on, it gives them kills three minutes while I help everybody. So I want to embed this movie. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to say share. Now every movie has its own way to embed. You must get the embed code. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my adventure quest and I'm going to tell it that I want to edit the HTML. I'm going to go in add the embed code and then I'm going to update. I like to have it centered. I just think it looks nice, but whatever works for you. And then I'm going to put in here um, watch movie and then click geography and agriculture. That's what I'm going to call my first page. I want to maybe make that a little bold, maybe make it a little bit bigger so everybody can see, and I might even want to center it. I can also change the color here. Um, if I like colors, maybe our school color is purple, so maybe some purple. So I've got all my information. I usually put this adventure quest is by, um, and I put my name, A-N-G-E-L-A. Sad when you can't spell your own name. Um, and then maybe my email address. That way, if anybody has questions, they can email me. So I've got everything I want. I hit save. And that's how I do my home page. All right, now I want to add a new page. And in Google Sites, I just say new page. And I want to call my page Geography and Agriculture. And then I'm going to create my new page. All right, once I have my new page, all right, so now I've created my first page. I need to come up with questions. So I've already gathered the questions of, uh, before time. So the first one I'm going to say, after reading the short article, summarize why the Nile River was so important to the ancient Egyptians. It's pretty simple, so I'm going to call it a DOK level two question. Okay, so the kids need to be able to answer this question. and especially with sixth graders, which this would be a sixth grade adventure quest, I want to give them the place to go to find the answers. So I already pre-looked at it and I found a great article from the History Channel on the Nile and its importance to ancient Egypt. And that's a great site, so I'm going to copy the address for that site. And I'm going to go back to my adventure quest. And after reading the short article, summarize why the Nile River was so important. So I'm going to make this a live link. So I've selected it and then I'm going to insert link 
web address. I'm going to paste the web address in there. I'm going to tell it open a separate window. I like to do that. That way they always have their original adventure quest open and then say OK. Then I'm going to save it. So now I've got question number one, the link, make sure it works, to where they go. And um, all I need to do now is find a movie on the Nile River and then add some activities that go along with the Nile River. All right, um, looking into Gaggle, I searched Nile River and I l found a nice movie. It's a little longer than I usually like, but it's actually pretty good. So sometimes if it's a really good movie, I will put a little longer one in there. So I'm going to share and then I want to embed. I'm going to copy the embed code and then I'm going to go back. I'm going to tell it I want to edit this page. I'm going to edit the HTML and I just put it right at the end. And then I'm going to update. I like it centered, so then I'm going to center and then save. So I've got my question, I've got the link to my question, and now I've uploaded a movie for my question. And there it goes. So now I want to come up with activities to go along with that. One of my fa favorite places to go is a Google Advanced Search. So I've been looking for Egypt, Nile River, and then this is a great little trick. If you go down to Format, I'm going to choose Shockwave. I always find great activities this way by doing an advanced search. Then these are nice flash ones. This is a really nice one, Explore Ancient Egypt. If you click on there, and make sure that when you do these, you have flash. These are really nice ones. Um, it's got great different activities to go on here. That doesn't really affect the Nile River. So maybe if I go to this one, it's more along the Nile River. So looking through, you find the activities you want. If this is one you want, again, all you need to do is copy and paste the URL address. Oh, that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Of course, I probably want to spend more time exploring and make sure it's exactly what I want. But let's say it is. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to edit the page. And I'm going to put here Interactive Nile River. OK, I always capitalize. I bold it. And then I'm going to put in the link, insert link, Nile River. I'm going to tell it open a new page, then OK. This looks like it's, I like 16, so I'm going to change this to 16, make it a little better. I can't tell the whole web page that I want all of it to be 16. So if I hit save here and go to more and tell it manage site, and go down here to themes colors this is what kind of where I put everything in so I want to say entire page and I want to say um, what text num I want here so I've got text and I'm going to choose what type of text I want and I'm going to say whatever I want and how big I want it. Then I can save this, then everything will be at that 16 that I want. Go back to geography and agriculture and there I go. Now I've got the font I want and the type I want. All right, so now I've got my question, I've got my movie, I've got an interactive. I want to do some more searching. I want to find more interactives um, using the different sites I've given you and different places. So I definitely want to check BrainPop and see if there's anything for BrainPop. I want to look at all my other favorite sites. Another one that I really like is Fling the Teacher. I can go to advanced search on that and find a Fling the Teacher. I found that Fling the Teacher is one of the kids' favorite activities. So I found a Fling the Teacher by just doing a regular Google search. Um, this is a great activity, so I'm going to copy it 
and then I'm going to say edit page you can call it game I like to just kids really like the fling the teachers and they know them so I'm just gonna call it a fling the teacher and then Egypt and then I'm gonna make sure I bold and then add the link making sure that opens to a new window then okay and save now I'm going to keep doing this until I have at least three activities. I like to have three, sometimes the maps. I, it's just a matter of what I'm looking for. So let me show you what a completed one would look like for Egypt. I, am, I put in a nice background. Um, I put in a movie that goes along with it. I've got the Nile River. I did a timeline here. That's a great search to look for. This is kind of an interactive timeline and it has a quiz at the end that the kids really enjoyed. It's just a matter of going out there and just searching. It's not a quick process. Sometimes it takes a long time and you just have to keep looking. It usually takes me a good two to three weeks to put these together, but it's worth it. I can use it year after year. I update every year. Um, when I know a class is coming in, I go through and making sure all the links work and um, maybe look doing some new searches to see what else is out there. There's new stuff being released all the time. Um, there's really a lot of fun stuff out there. The more you look, the more you will find. Um, then I go on, um, find different things to find different movies, always staying on the subject area. Then I've got daily life in Egypt, talking about the difference between men and women, found lots of interactives, a lot of quizzes out there, a lot of information, and I've given you places to look for all this stuff. Um, then we went to uh, pyramids and mummies. That was a fun one. There's tons of stuff on that. The more popular the subject, the more things are going to be out there. So there's lots of really good. And then on the pharaohs, looks like I'm out of the thing here a little bit. That was kind of a fun one to do. And then I always include the common core standards, how they fit, and then teacher notes. This is where I always put the worksheet that goes along with it. Although nowadays we are using a lot of Google Docs, so I'll take this worksheet, I'll paste it, I'll use Doctopus to shoot it out to all the students, and then they will just fill out the worksheet um, on a second tab as they work through the adventure quest.